Um, hi guys, welcome to this video. This is Dennis from Spoda Home. Today we're here in Valencia. We're gonna visit a really, really nice apartment. Overall, super, super big, really wide open. We've got five bedrooms, okay, although uh, one of them is used as storage. Really, really cool apartment overall, okay. We've got also super big windows distributed throughout the whole apartment. So we've got really massive windows situated in the living room. We've got another one, um, same size, about the same size in the kitchen. So we've got a lot of light entering throughout the whole apartment. Um, kitchen and the living room are to the left side of the apartment and to the right side of the apartment we got the first three bedrooms and they also got um, street views and super big windows so that's pretty important. All of the bedrooms are fully equipped so are the bathrooms. We got two bathrooms okay. Also is the kitchen so that's pretty important. We got a really nice and comfy entrance okay as we will see afterwards. Also we're situated in a really really nice neighborhood. We got all the services that we need literally just downstairs. We can have a walk. Everything that we want we can do it over here. And also we're situated really really near the city center so like you know about five minutes away walking from here we got city center so as you can imagine we got all the facilities and all the privileges that a city center offers so yeah overall as we said really really nice apartment fully equipped and really well decorated so yeah guys let's check it out okay guys so we're gonna start the video over here um over the entrance space so as we can see already we've got a really wide open space over here which conforms the main space for the entrance so you can see also seems really really comfy we also got some lights so we're gonna check out ceiling for example over here it's really cool we have some cool patterns okay then as we mentioned we got two couches over here with some flower pattern decoration then notice also we got a wooden floor throughout the whole apartment so that's also a plus then we got over here a light situated in this corner we got a really cool table over here has a really unique style and decoration also we got this space over here where we can leave our keys or whatever um, we have just besides the main entrance and that's super cool and useful. Just on top of it we find this mirror which has also a pretty cool style um, in decoration. And as we see we got over here first three are bedrooms and if we turn over here we find pretty long corridor which divides the rest of the apartment. Okay so first off we're gonna go over here. Also notice pretty important feature about this apartment is that each of the bedrooms is equipped with its own key so we can lock it from the inside and from the outside. So we're gonna check out first bedroom number one. As we see over here we find the single size bed which is attached to this left corner of the bedroom. We got a pretty wide desk, everything super clean, super neat overall. Okay, then with a chair over here, we got a light. We got a chest of drawers with a lot of storage over here on the top side and in the several different drawers. Over here to our right hand side we find these shelves so we can decorate them or we can store our things um, as we wish. Really nicely settled just on top of this desk. We got a window behind this curtain with some street views. Okay, and over here we find a standalone wardrobe. We're gonna check out the inside just so you can see how the space is divided for our storage. Okay. Okay, so we got a top shelf over here. We got some storage over here. And then finally over here, we find a little table, okay, which can be used for extra storage. So now I'm gonna come out of bedroom number one. I'm pretty much attached to it. So we can see over here, we got bedroom number two also with our key. Pretty big bedroom, this one is the biggest bedroom of them all. Really, really neat overall too. We got a massive, massive standalone wardrobe situated over here. Pretty tall too. And we got this piece of furniture where we can hang our coats. We got a single size bed, pretty much in the center of the bedroom. Then we got another bed over here. Really comfy space. We got a desk, which is pretty, pretty big, pretty wide too. We got a light on the top, a chair. We got some shelves over here situated in this corner really nicely. And then also we got um, the curtain and a window just on top of the desk with the same kind of views we saw from bedroom number one. Okay. So now we're gonna come out of bedroom number two. Now we go over here, we turn to our right and we find bedroom number three. So full equipped bedroom two, we find over here this glass desk we got a light over here too. We got a chair. We got this chest of doors, um, which is fitted really nicely into this corner. We got a lot of storage, as you can see in the several different doors, and some space over here in the top side. 
Then we've got a window, which is really antique and really unique too. And we've got some interior battery views. Okay, over here we find another chest of doors with a light on the top. We've got a single size bed attached to this arm wall. We've got a standalone wardrobe. And we've got some shelves over here. Okay. Now we're gonna come out of bedroom number three. And as we mentioned before, we're gonna go straight over here through this corridor. We turn to the right and we find this bedroom over here. We've got a bed, we've got a chair, we've got a window with some interior battle views. And we've got the shelves over here for storage. Okay. Now we're gonna follow the corridor once more. Pretty much just besides the bedroom we just saw, we find um, bathroom number two. Okay, so as we can see, we've got this space over here. We've got a window with some interior pad of use. We've got a mirror. And we've got our sink just underneath it. Okay, now attached to it, we find bedroom number four. As we see, we find a single size bed situated in the center of the bedroom. We've got this chest of doors with a lot of space. We also got these shelves over here, which they are empty, so we can decorate them or store the things as we want. We've got a table just besides the bed, which is pretty useful if we want to leave our smartphone wherever we need our books. That's pretty useful. Then over here we find this standalone wardrobe, pretty pretty big overall too. I'm gonna check out the side over here. So we can see it is divided into different shelves. Okay, and then over here. We find the desk, really, really neatly settled too. It is really long and really wide. We also got a chair and a light. And then we got the same kind of windows um, we saw from bedroom number three and this interior battery view. Okay, so over here, just in a straight line, that window would be literally bedroom number three. So now we're gonna come out of bedroom number four. And pretty much in front of it, we find um, bathroom number one. This would be the main bathroom. We find a sink over here. We got a mirror. We've got the space over here. We've got a window. This glass shelves for some storage. And then to the other side of the bathroom, we find our shower. Okay. Now we're gonna go out of the bathroom. We're gonna go in a straight line. And over here, we find the living room. Okay, so as you see, really, really massive um, living room. It is super cool, everything's super neatly distributed and super clean. So we're gonna start off over here. So you can see we got a pretty cool and antique piece of furniture. Really, really nice, really nicely decorated also. On top we have a really massive um, mirror. Then over here we find this table, which is pretty big and it's pretty useful to have dinner or whatever we, not, we wanna do. It is surrounded also by five chairs, so it has plenty of space. Then over here we find this couch, which has a pretty unique style and decoration too, attached to another one. We've got a table in the center, another couch over here, another one over here, and television with the um, piece of furniture for the television um, underneath. And also, as we mentioned, massive, massive windows, letting a lot of light pass through. And we got this in tier battery views. And coming out of the living room, basically at the end of the corridor, we find the kitchen, which is divided with this door. And over here, we see really, really nice kitchen overall, pretty big, pretty wide open, really neatly decorated. Okay, so full equipped too. We'll find a fridge over here, a lot of space for storage over here in this top side. Okay, we've got several different doors. We've got a sink, which is kind of divided into two parts. We've got a washing machine, we've got a microwave, we've got some doors, we've got our oven, cooking fire, then we've got some plant decoration over here. If we turn over here, we find a table, so we want to have something quick for dinner or leave something on the top, that's pretty useful. And then over here, we've got a pretty, pretty big window, which is letting a lot of light through. And we've got this interior battery views. Right guys, so this has been the visit for today. This has been Dennis from Spada Home. I hope you really enjoyed this video and see you in the next one.